How many people in this room like video games? Good number of hands. How many people in this room like to give to charity? Even more hands. Tonight, Toastmasters uh, uh, and welcome guests, I'm going to be talking about an organization that takes playing video games and giving to charity, and they take it up to 11. So tonight, I'm going to be talking about an organization called Games Done Quick, or GDQ for short. Uh, so before I go into what GDQ is about or how they operate, I'm going to talk about, uh, in the gaming community, a concept called speed running. So back in the day when you played video games, you'd look at like an arcade machine, you'd have like a high score at each of those machines, you type your name in, and that's how people kind of track who's the best of all time. Speedrunning takes it to 11 where they actually try to beat the game as fast as possible. And they're taking video games that literally take days, weeks, or months to beat, and they're beating them in hours. It's crazy. So I can remember back in 2014, the first time I saw a speedrun on YouTube, one of my all-time favorite childhood games was Donkey Kong Country 2 for Super Nintendo. This person had beaten the game in 45 minutes, a game that took me as a kid several weeks of afternoon, not doing my homework and just sitting and playing Super Nintendo. <laughs> so a little background on Games on Quick. This organization uh, started in 2010. Um, a bunch of gamers online said, hey, we want to get together as like a community and speedrun games but we don't want to just get together in someone's basement. We want to actually like do something for the community, create like a community that other gamers can come to. We also want to partner with a charity to kind of give back. So the first event uh, was scheduled to happen in January 1st of 2010. They had actually scheduled it in a hotel, but for reasons unknown, they couldn't get the equipment to work. So the founder, Mike Uyama, he actually had to schedule it in his parents' basement. So. Didn't really do much to change the stereotypes of coming together for gaming, but he was able to raise $10,000 for charity. So pretty significant amount, especially these just geeks getting together trying to help the community out. So I know some of you might be thinking, like, why would I watch someone else play video games? You know, I'm of the opinion, like, video games, watching someone else at a professional level playing video games is almost like the equivalent of watching NFL, like watching the Super Bowl. Everyone in this room could technically play football, but none of us are going to be at the Super Bowl. None of us are going to be at that professional level. These speedrunners take video games to that same professional level, and they do it for a great cause. So what, they've, what the Games Done Quick has done is twice a year they have two events. One is called Summer Games Done Quick, and the other one is Awesome Games Done Quick. And they just get together, and it's a week-long event where they just 24-7 play video games, and they try to beat them as fast as possible. But at the same time, they, they stream it on Twitch, they stream it on YouTube, and they accept donations for various causes. In fact, this past summer, they raised $3 million for the Doctors Without Borders organization. And it was just awesome seeing all the different characters come together in the speedrunning community. There was interviews with Doctors Without Borders, and it was just like a, an amazing time. Let's see. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Okay, and then in the winter, they actually team up with the Prevent Cancer Foundation. And what's awesome about that one is they actually get people from all over the world donating to this cause, and they actually send in little messages saying, you know, unfortunately my parents passed away from cancer, or I know a loved one who passed away from cancer. So it's just awesome seeing all the support in the room come together uh, for these speed runs. Um, Let's see here. Okay. So I'd encourage everyone in this room, whether you like video games or whether you like charity, I'd encourage everyone in this room to go to the gamesonquick.com website and look up uh, and see when their next event is happening. And you can actually watch a speedrun yourself and you can donate to their charity. But what's cool too is they have like an announcer. So if you wanted to say, send a personal message out or like a shout out, you can donate you know, anywhere from a dollar to sometimes even have organizations donate tens of thousands of dollars. And it's just awesome seeing the crowd reaction with that. And cool, that's what I've got. All right, thanks guys.